guys, 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 here is Akta for another video and this time we are going to talk about three awesome heroes and also the epic one is so great, so let's talk about that. Oh my gosh, these he three heroes are so powerful. Look at that, this is an epic hero, Fornell from the Foresters, defense type unit with the force mark. And he is such a great unit. Look at that, basic attack, deals two stages of da damage based on the defense, but with a chance to inflict attack down 40% on the target for two turns. Attack down 40% on the basic attack on an epic unit. But it's not all, it's not all, look at that. Deal damage to all enemies with a chance to reduce their speed by 20% for two turns. Two awesome stuff on this hero, but it's not finished here. Passive, when any ally shield is completely broken, restore the ally HP based on his own max HP. Awesome! And also on the ultimate, he can grant a shield on all your heroes for two turns based on his max HP. It's an ultimate, so probably the shield is going to be 40% or more. It looks promising. It, it looks pretty huge, right? And it's not everything. Loot, look, at, look at the exclusives. Exclusive 1, restore all allies HP based on his max HP before. Uh, Moonstrike, his first active skill, deal damage. So, he heals. Lower the attack by 40%. Lower the speed by 20% in AoE. Shield. Uh, this is insane. Uh, exclusive level 2 increases Fall on stun meta when spot of healing is triggered. So when your heroes lose a shield, then he gets stun meta increase. So he can heal your heroes, shield your heroes again. This is so great. And the last one also increases all allies tenacity by 60%. 60% on the ultimate here, the big shield and the tenacity up, 60% on an epic hero, this is just insane, this hero is now the best defense type unit in the game, in the epic category I mean. He looks so great, and from the Foresters, so now he is also the best support we can have on the Foresters. After Teru, because Teru brings some shields, some stuns, some heals, and uh, consolidation too. But here, attack down, tenacity up, speed down, uh, it's so great, it is so great. 100% I'm gonna regress my will and I'm gonna build him if I'm lucky enough to get him. He looks pretty insane. Uh, let's have a look to the to other heroes. Uh, let's first have a look to Magdi here. Nameless Brotherhood, a support one with the force mark. On the basic attack he can uh, target one enemy and have a chance to inflict one poison for two turns. And then he restore all allies HP based on his own max HP on a basic attack. Which is pretty nice if you are using that with Ben Austin or Catherine for example. You are gonna heal a lot your heroes so I love that a lot. Pretty nice. Also grants all allies a shield based, based on his own max HP for two turns on the first active skill so probably a 40% shield, pretty nice. Then on the, I think, I guess it's a passive, but it's not written, active or passive. Grants all allies toxic gas for three turns. Toxic gas is lowering the direct damage you are gonna take on your heroes by 40%. It's the same effect as consolidation. Uh, but it's not return if it is consolidation 1 or consolida consolidation 2. So in fact, I don't know if it's a 20 or 40% damage reduction direct damage reduction. And it's also toxic gas increases the poison damage deal by all your heroes. So if you are using a, a poison team, then it's gonna be great. So maybe in dungeons using this guy is gonna be great because he looks a pretty pretty nice. Having a big shield given by a poisoner and uh, an, a kind of consolidation given also by the same poisoner is insane. Uh, he just needs to lower the speed of enemies and then we can run a full poison team without the need of Catherine and etc. It's so great. I love that. I love that. It's gonna change many things in the game with poison teams. Also, his ultimate deals attack to all enemies with a chance to inflict one poison on them for two turns and if he inflicts successfully the poison, he is gonna inflict on them deep poisoning too for two turns, which is pretty nice. Nita can do that. 
but uh, you won't have all the time deep poisoning too on all enemies so if you are using both uh, it's gonna be nice let's talk about the exclusives now on the first one for every poison inflicted by an ally this ally will gain residual poison up to 10 layers and when he is gonna use his first active skill here depending on the number of residual poison you have on your heroes it's gonna remove all the layers but it's gonna increase all the lies shield uh, for every one residual poison removed this looks so great. Imagine the shield you can have with that. And it's a poisoner. It's a poisoner. That looks so great. Exclusive level 2 for every 1% mastery owned by self. He will additionally gain the shield effect and healing effect up to 40%. Uh, that means if you are playing him with 40% mastery, then you are going to have 40% more shield and heal. You are gonna heal like crazy on the basic attack and have a huge, the, maybe the best shield in the game with the first active skill. It looks so, so great. And also, while allies have toxic gas, so toxic gas, you can inflict that with this skill. I don't know if it's a passive or an active skill, um, but if your heroes have toxic gas, He's gonna refresh the duration of toxic gas if a poison is inflicted successfully during the turn of your heroes. So in fact, uh, toxic gas lasts 3 turns, but if you have the second exclusive, every time you're gonna inflict uh, poison on the enemies, you are gonna get a uh, refresh the duration. This is why I'm not sure if it is an active skill or a passive. That means if you are using poison heroes, they will always be protected by the toxic gas. But it's, if it's not uh, poison heroes, uh, if you get the toxic gas at the beginning of the wave, for example, um, then they are gonna lose it. But it still looks pretty, pretty nice. Imagine, big shield, some poisons to lower the damage in the Brotherhood faction, for example, uh, something like a consolidation. It's gonna help a lot. It's gonna help a lot to deal with the faction. And finally, exclusive three, uh, toxic bombs. Bomb, so the ultimate here inflicts toxic imprint on the targets for two turns, so on all enemies. And for every one layer of poison inflicting on the enemy with toxic imprint, uh, deals 100% attack poison damage to them and restores all allies HP by 1% of Magdi's max HP if he survives. Great heal and great damage probably on the exclusive 3, uh, depending on the number of poisons you are going to inflict on enemies. But you can deal an insane amount of damage inflicting some poison having the exclusive 3 and, and using this skill, I'm pretty sure about that. So, uh, this, uh, this hero looks uh, pretty insane in my opinion, looks pretty strong. I really want him now, because I have a nice poison team, I have Veronica today but she's not built yet. I have Nita, she is destroying enemies, I have Walter to use with Nita and this is a great team, I can't wait to use that to try them together. And Finally, let's talk about the last one, Rista, legendary hero from the Soul Harbor Guards, uh, maybe my fifth hero in it, uh, replacing my Verto, maybe a support hero with the Force Mark. Basic attack, awesome. Deals attack damage to a single enemy with a chance to inflict stun on a basic attack. And after that, allies with alliance will pursue and attack the same target. Alliance, at the beginning of the wave, he is going to put that on himself and on the uh, highest attacker in your team uh, with his passive. Uh, you are going to see that the Alliance mechanic is pretty strong for your DPS. Uh, first active skill increases all allies attack by 40% for 2 turns and grants a stealth to self and allies with Alliance for 2 turns. Looks pretty strong. He can steal your highest attacker and so he won't be targeted by a single target enemies. It looks so great. Uh, remember also that this is a support hero, okay? He is gonna have a lot of speed and so if you are using him in PvP, for example, he will have a lot of speed such as uh, Benosin has at the moment and with the pursuit, maybe if you are using a Lucifer, you can do a pursuit and destroy enemies. And also remember that the pursuit uh, doesn't trigger the counter attack of uh, Brin Hill, for example. But here, uh, only, yeah, he is not gonna attack, he's gonna, not gonna pursue it. I think this is the same as Ben Austin, 
So it looks pretty nice and I don't think it can trigger the counter attack of Brynhild, so maybe it can help in PvP. Let's have a look to his passive now. At the beginning of the wave, grants alliance for on self and an ally with the highest attack. Then after, uh, he will reselect an ally to grant alliance at his turn, every time he's gonna take a turn. And additionally, increases restore and the ally's effect resistance and grants the self and the uh, and grants the ally sorry an extra attack bonus equal to part of Rister's initial attack. If you are using that with Lucifer, your Lucifer will have a lot of resistance. So if you are using Lucifer with another hero to bring a resistance buff, such as Pauline, for example, at the beginning of the wave, if you have an exclusive one on Pauline, uh, maybe your Lucifer won't be frozen by an Azil. and so it's game changer. And also. And he's gonna have more attack. Imagine your Lucifer having more attack. And this is just insane. I love that so much. It's gonna change many things. And if one of the two heroes, this one, Rista, or your highest attacker dies, it's gonna remove alliance on both of them. And finally, the ultimate deals attack damage to all enemies with a chance to stun in AoE. Awesome. It cannot be blocked by enemies, excluding boss. So I think that it can't be resisted. I don't remember if it cannot be blocked and cannot be resisted is the same or not. Uh, excluding boss. But on bosses, it's gonna deal some damage by part of the boss max HP. So it looks like a support DPS for bosses maybe pretty interesting. Let's have a look to the exclusives now. Exclusive 1 gets an extra turn after casting the first active skill and increases the turn meta of the ally with alliance. Imagine guys, you are, this is a support, you have a lot of speed, you are gonna play first during the fight in PvP for example, you are gonna cast this skill first increasing your uh, all allies attack by 40%, stealth your heroes, so if an, uh, an enemy still uh, stole yeah, stole your stealth, then you are gonna steal him again, put alliance, increase the uh, the allied uh, the ally b uh, attack by 40% also, then increase his turn meta, make a pursuit after with the basic attack, deal insane amount of damage, and then your highest attacker will take his turn. Now, it looks so powerful, so broken. And then exclusive 2, the ally with alliance has a, an extra crit damage also. This is broken. Increases the extra crit damage if the ally is under stealth, so it's gonna be even better to uh, for Lucifer and all all the all, all heroes in fact. Status and is and it's gonna grant the ally powerful ally for one turn when stealth is gonna expire, and it's gonna increase the crit damage also. In fact, every time your heroes will have more crit damage with that. It's so great. It looks so strong. With Lucifer, basic attack, you will be able to kill everybody. I'm pretty sure that you can one-shot a Brynhild using a basic attack with that. It looks so great. I'm gonna 100% take back my Lucifer soon. <laughs> Exclusive 3. There is a chance to reduce the target's defense by 60% for 2 turns before casting the ultimate here. Inflicts a piercing rate when dealing extra damage to boss, so it, he's gonna deal more damage to boss by ignoring the defense, and inflicts eternal death on enemies, excluding boss, for one turn. But in fact, it's not it's not eternal death because it lasts only one turn, and you can't revive the uh, heroes with eternal death. Uh, but after that, you can revive them. So in PvP, uh, it's gonna be a bit annoying if you can't revive your heroes. If you are using an Esther, for example, it can help a lot to counter Esther. Pretty nice. And the effect of Eternal Death cannot be cleansed or blocked. So you don't need effect hit on him. This is so great. This is so great. Uh, you're gonna need some effect hit, right, for the defense down. But... 100% I am sure I'm gonna take this hero. I'm gonna pick this uh, he, this hero and put him exclusive 3 directly. I want this hero. He looks so broken and also I want the other and I want the epic one. These All these heroes look so great. Game changers. 
okay? Uh, same as Endras, we had before and Marvel. They look so promising, so strong, so game-changing. I want them. Tell me what you think about them, them in the comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And then see you in the next one. Bye-bye.